right, let's go over this one more time. They get 18 seconds of training. They get an automatic rifle, a riot shield, and speed enhancing drugs. Yeah, sure, why not? What could go wrong with that combination? It's truly astounding. The Marine is the Terran's Tier 1 General Purpose Infantry. At a cost of only 50 minerals, these guys are the bread and butter go-to for many builds. 45 life, 0 base armor, 6 damage every 0.61 seconds, and they are tagged as light. Do not ever write these guys off just because they are the basic Terran unit. Great DPS, movement speed, insane scalability, and they can hit air, so on so forth. Marines are great at most stages of the game in all three matchups. Before I talk about usage, their upgrades. Two research options available at the Barracks Tech Lab. Stimpak costs 100, 100, and gives all Marines and Marauders an active ability. When used, this ability will increase the movement and attack speeds of the Marines by 50%, at a cost of 10 life. Their second research option is Combat Shields. Also costing 100, 100, this will increase the maximum life of all marines by 10, going from 45 to 55. Research complete. Talking about usage now, I must bring up how much marines benefit from micro or control. Not only because their active ability requires you to, well, activate it, but also because marines are essentially glass cannons. Their damage output is incredible, but they can die so easily. A bit of babysitting can go a long way. First, let's talk about stutter stepping. The damage from their attack is dealt instantly, meaning there's no projectile flight time or charge up of the attack, and their attack speed is absurdly fast. Couple that with the fact that they are a ranged unit, and you can try to maximize your damage output while moving the marines away from a melee enemy. There's many ways to do it, but the core strategy is telling your marines to move in a direction, then issuing a stop, hold position, or attack command, and then quickly moving again right after they fire. Other than stutter stepping, one incredibly common tactic to see with marines is splitting. It is no secret that the major weakness of marines is splash damage. Splitting up your marines by simply moving them in small groups away from each other will increase the surface area that your opponent has to cover. Lastly, I want to point out how well Marines pair with other units in the Terran arsenal. You can add in medevacs to not only heal the injured Marines, but also improve their mobility. You can add in siege tanks to help solidify a position and threaten more distant targets. As a side note, the marines will also serve the tanks well by firing on both melee and airborne targets, thus protecting the siege tanks. As a basic unit, marines are not really that special on their own. Get a critical mass together with their research and engineering bay upgrades though. It's literally an angry mob armed with guns and drugs, guys. That's a scary force. 
Joking aside, they can be strong, but they are also vulnerable to high damage attacks. Generally speaking, the number one go-to answer for all of the factions is some form of splash damage. A close second pick though would have to be something that has high armor, which will reduce the low damage attack of the marines to more manageable numbers. Lastly, remember that marines are tagged as light. Terrans, marines are the ever important line of fodder for our siege tank and viking wars. The obvious and usually reliable counter is the glorious siege tank. The marines may have superior mobility, but if you can keep your tanks at a safe distance, you should be fine. For high armor options, the best choice has to be the battle cruiser. As one of the few things that marines don't completely decimate, one or two BCs in the right place can cause quite the headache for your opponent. Lastly, I want to highlight the Raven for its anti-armor missile ability. Lethal to grouped up units, this spell will reduce the armor of the affected targets by 3. That's 3 extra points of damage to every attack made. Now think about that in a marine versus marine battle. You're welcome. Protoss, hear me loud and clear. Splash, splash, splash. Colossi are the easiest to use and offer reliable damage output, but they are vulnerable to anti-air threats. High Templar, thanks to their balance forum famous Psy Storm, are the nightmare and bane of marines everywhere. If you go that route, be wary of ghosts. That EMP round will nullify all of your hopes and dreams. Disruptors can work as a splash damage option, but they take the most control out of the bunch, and are by far the most worthless if you happen to mess up, so I would say use it at your own risk. Lastly, I want to talk about sentries. The sentry is a seriously underrated spellcaster, in my opinion, of course. Guardian Shield is the ability of choice here. Activate it and the sentry will extend a shield in an area around itself, reducing the damage of enemy ranged attacks by two. That's two less damage from every ranged attack. Guys, the base damage of the marine is only six damage. Do the math. Sentries can be insanely valuable even without mentioning the possibility of splitting the bio-army up via force fields. Zerg lovers, banelings are the premier anti-marine option that you tend to see. They do work very well, unless you have a garbage economy, lackluster creep spread, poor inject larva macro, and a Terran that understands the value of splitting. Yeah, other than that, they're fantastic, really. If you're looking for a higher tech option, Lurkers will shred basic bio armies and likely force out a higher tech option from the opponent, 
such as siege tanks, ghosts, or liberators. Ultralisks, thanks to their chitinous plating research, will fulfill the heavy armor category and are a great option when up against a marine tank composition. Lastly, let's talk spellcasters. Infestors can be a great tool in the mid and late game thanks to how punishing fungal growth is to large packs of bio. I feel like I'm always recommending these guys, but here we go again. Vipers are so good. So helpful, even here. Blinding Cloud will reduce the attack range of the Marines, and both Abduct and Parasitic Bomb can be a lethal move against the medevacs that usually accompany them. Do not ever underestimate the value of these world championship winning basic units. I hope this was helpful, or at least entertaining. Thank you guys for watching. As always, have a great day.